Hello there, my name's Shane and today I'm going to take you through a tutorial on how to build a puzzle using Photoshop and Illustrator. It's very straightforward by using this technique you can create any shape puzzle you like. I've seen a lot of tutorials on the internet they basically just show you how to create a puzzle out of a square but using this technique you can uh, create a puzzle out of any shape you like, whether it be a triangle or a star or a circle, an ellipse, anything you like, anything you can imagine you can create a puzzle out of. I'm currently using um, Cartoon Smart's Storyteller Kit. If any of you guys uh, have not seen it, you can have a look on cartoonsmart.com. This is the actual page for the kit here. And if we scroll down a bit, you can see you can create puzzle apps with it. Okay, so to create a puzzle app, obviously, you need to uh, provide the pieces. So I'm going to show you how to provide the pieces for a puzzle, and then you can make as many puzzles as you like to add to this kit. And this kit is just run from a property list, as you can see and you don't need to do any programming whatsoever and you, know, you can build a, a universal app from it and um, go from there. A little bit about me, I'm um, an ActionScript Free developer. This is my app, it's out on the App Store. This was all done in uh, ActionScript Free and Flash uh, using version 5.5 but we're not going to go into any Flash today. We're just going to be using Adobe Illustrator like I said to you and well, let's have a quick look at some of the puzzle shapes I've created. So here's a triangle puzzle, as you can see. If we have a look at this puzzle here, we can see that I've locked it. <laughs> That's what we can see. Yes, we can see that these are all individual pieces. And there we go. So let's just control Z to undo all of that and put it all back together again. And there's an ellipse puzzle. Again, this is all separate pieces. There's a bit. There's a bit there. Lovely. Just control Z that to get that back together again. And here's a circle puzzle I created. So as you can see, you can make a pizza puzzle or a, a planet puzzle or anything you like out of that. We'll um We'll go into detail on, on how to exactly do that and we're going to bust it up, like I said, into individual bits and then import it into Photoshop and smash a picture up. So once you've got your bits, you can import them into Justin's kit and you can create as many puzzles as you like. Okay, so this is a circle puzzle that I created earlier. This is the pieces, the actual template for it. And if we have a look in Photoshop, where's she gone? There she is. You can see that this is the finished article. You can see that I've broken it up into individual pieces. If you look in my layers panel, and if I turn all the pieces on, there we go. You can see that's what it looks like. Uh, that's the finished article. And I'll show you how to break it all up no matter what size shape just like I said earlier you can have a star triangle etc 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 and um, we've made a, a little bit of a background this is the original image that I imported in this is uh, uh, an image of a globe from dementeddensians.com that I'm using I bought his kit parts props and gadgets so I've um, kindly borrowed the image of the globe and okay and this is the actual slices that I've imported in from uh, Illustrator and I've just put that over the top of the uh, image here and then broken it up into individual pieces and um, well, let's just go back to the desktop and I can show you in here this folder we can see there's all the pieces so I'll show you the, the individual bits got two sets here say you are creating one for uh, an app for an iPad uh, you need um, 
obviously uh, the non-retina image which is what this is and this is the retina image with the dash iPad HD extension and as you can see I've applied a bevel effect to the image I've applied an inner shadow just to kind of round it off a little bit okay and we can have a little flick through the pieces there's piece two and there's the iPad for HD version etc 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 and we just flick through all of these here and then finally we get to the background uh, obviously the um, the user will need a, a kind of template or, or not you could have an image in the corner you don't have to supply them a template depends whether the app is for children or not so there we go and um, what we're going to do first is take you through uh, how to do a square puzzle in Illustrator because that's uh, fairly straightforward uh, I'll show you how to do the template and we can go from there